what are some of the challenges that we face today in bringing live linear streaming to the masses? At sports, for us, we, you know, of course, are still event-based, but from a streaming perspective, we were traditionally event-based. And as the shift has gone, really because of the audience, to linear, uh, I would say for us, it's source acquisition and the stability therein. So, uh, on an event-based model, you know, we had the, you know, the budget to be able to stand up a, you know, either downlink a feed from a stadium, or if the stadium had connectivity, you know, to get a point-to-point -point circuit as a backup, um, and it was relatively easy. So, source was never the issue. It was always beyond our our. Uh, our origin, um, but now it's the opposite. <laughs> we, we, you know, we um, since it's you know not as cost efficient to get something, you know, from satellite 24/7 or, or fiber 24/7, moving to that you know um, uh, uh, linear model, uh, going either over the open internet or uh, other forms. It's definitely source acquisition for us. In, in order to create new product experiences, like you really need to understand and know a lot about the metadata that's out there for the content. And while that metadata exists in certain formats, or it's in Excel sheets, or it's in a PDF somewhere, it's really not consumable that often in programmatic ways. And you've got to really work hard in order to tie them all together, in order to find out like who are the teams in that sporting event, or when did that originally air, um, who are the actors in that movie. Um, you have to do a lot in order to pull that all together. And, and that's basic building blocks for how you can build you know, more engaging you know, consumer experiences. Um, that along with, I mean, we rely on our programmers to help us with the signal acquisition piece. There's still quite a bit there that needs to get transformed in order to bring it to a truly um, internet ready type service with regards to bringing the metadata along with the signal, um, decorating the feeds with, with all the uh, control signals that are there, um, and just getting an aggregation at one single point. That'd be great for us uh, if, if everything was aggregated in one place, but uh, it's not quite that way today. Our challenge is less uh, technical than it is financial uh, because at any one time, uh, the cost of doing live, st live streams doesn't, doesn't justify the audience that will actually see the live stream. So um, with, with, uh, our audience is actually cum over a long period of time. So we might have 200 people watching at any one time. So the cost of trying to do a live stream doesn't justify the, audience, the live audience. So for, for us, a lot of times it's much easier to do live to tape and then just put it back in as, as a content, in the, into the content mix. It's the convergence of broadcast and digital for us, I think, is, is the biggest challenge, both in terms of expectations, you know, how, uh, how our customers expect us to, to offer that service as a service provider, also how the audience expects to consume uh, uh, that content. And also from a programmer's perspective, uh, they're used to you know five to eight second broadcast delays in in the you know, world of pay TV, and that's very different when you're talking digital. Uh, and you know at the end of the day, uh, our our goal is really to help customers uh, kind of navigate that convergence between broadcast and di digital, being that we we you know our heritage is in broadcast, uh, digital obviously is here to stay, and and we're embracing that and and. Um, trying to help our customers fulfill it, but I think, you know, someone who comes from the broadcast world and says, "Hey, I really, you know, I need these networks up because I'm launching a new digital product." Their expectations of what that digital product, uh, what that user experience is, and and how how consumers use it, very different from somebody who starts in the digital space who maybe hasn't done broadcast before.